Welcome and thank you for your interest in the National Clean Out Your Medicine Cabinet Day webinar. This year is more important than ever. My name is Ann Hamlin and I'm the Vice President of Scientific Affairs at Dispose RX. Today we're going to talk about what is National Clean Out Your Medicine Cabinet Day, an overview of Dispose RX, what the risks are of keeping unused medication in your home. We'll talk a little bit about the opioid epidemic. We'll talk about COVID-19 and how it's collided with the opioid epidemic and why this year is more important than ever. And we'll wrap it up with the discussion of safe disposal and how it should really be a behavior change. National Clean Out Your Medicine Cabinet Day is Friday, April 17th. And this day occurs annually on the third Friday in April. The goal is to raise awareness and rid homes of any unused or expired medication, any over-the-counter medication that you may have sitting in your medicine cabinets or your nightstands or your pantries or wherever you keep your medication. Dispose RX launched National Clean Out Your Medicine Cabinet Day in 2019. And it was really designed to be held the week before the spring DEA National Take Back Day. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the April 25th DEA event has been postponed. Our mission at Dispose RX is to eradicate the misuse of unused medication. Our late CEO, Dr. John Holliday, spent a large part of his career researching opioids and researching addiction. And he realized the part that unused medication can play in starting some addictions. So we were founded in 2015 based on over 40 years of opioid research. We spearhead programs that encourage behavior change and educate consumers and communities about medication management and at-home medication disposal. And when we talk about at-home medication disposal, we're really referring to being able to promptly and properly dispose of any unused medication in your own home. So Dispose RX is actually in 50% of retail pharmacies in the United States, um, also key wholesalers as well as providers and health plans um, have it available. Um, and what we've done is we utilize the most trusted sources in healthcare today, and that's our nation's pharmacists. They have a unique and a meaningful opportunity to be able to communicate directly with their customers or their patients about the safe use of uh, storing or disposing of opioid medication. And we know that the more we communicate effectively about the risks associated with unused medication, then the more successful we're gonna be in reducing the misuse of prescription medication. And there is a great de uh, demonstration uh, on that YouTube link that you see below. And we would really love for you all to take a look at that. It shows the ease and the convenience of using Dispose RX for at home medication disposal. So, when we talk about the unintended risks of keeping unused medication in the home, there are several of these. We talk about accidental ingestions or poisonings, uh, maybe a child getting a hold of somebody's medication and not knowing how dangerous they are. Um, we talk about drug diversion and misuse and abuse. And that's whether you're using a medication. Um, for a symptom that you may have used a medication prior, you had some leftover, you're gonna use it again, and that's really misuse. When we're talking about a, abuse, that's when you're using a prescription medication for its illicit effect. So there are a couple of kinds of diversion we can discuss. There's medication confusion, which especially affects our senior population overdoses, suicides, and of course, antibiotic resistance. And that goes when we, we don't, we may not finish using an antibiotic, we keep it around our home, we may start exhibiting symptoms that were similar 
uh, and when we needed the antibiotic in the first place. So we start to take the leftovers and we really aren't curing um, what, what is wrong with us. We're really building up a little bit of an antibiotic resistance and that can be problematic. So DisposeRx was really designed to help reduce the occurrence and the severity um, or the severity of certain risks associated with keeping unused medication around the home. The powder is non-toxic and non-hazardous. And not only have we completed third-party independent testing to confirm this, but each of the components in the powder is on the FDA's list of inactive ingredients for approved oral medication. Our technology really revolves around cross-linking polymers and they activate in water in the presence of the unused medication in the original prescription vial. And that starts happening in about less than 30 seconds. And you can see from these instructions how incredibly easy and convenient it is to use. Again, you start with the prescription vial that your medication was dispensed in. And ideally, we recommend that the vial be no more than a third full of pills. So you take that vial and your pills, you add water till about the two thirds full line, you empty the DisposeRx powder into the vial, replace the child resistant cap on back onto the vial and you shake for about 30 seconds, at which time you can safely discard in the trash. So the opioid epidemic was really the driver behind the idea and the realization of the necessity for prompt and proper disposal of unused medication. We recognize prescription opioid misuse is an ongoing and escalating epidemic. As a matter of fact, 70% of opioid dependency, overdoses, and deaths began with leftover drugs in the medicine cabinet. And opioids really aren't the only class of drugs that are found lying around our homes. There are a number of classes of drugs that are especially prone to abuse, and some of those include benzodiazepines, um, the, the muscle relaxants. Um, ADHD medication is also very prone to abuse, and that's, those are really uh, some medications that are very commonly found in people's homes. So when we talk about the risks to our family and our community by having unused drugs in the home, we've seen the headlines. We've seen the headlines as they relate to children. Nearly 60,000 kids under the age of five go to the ER annually due to poisonings by unsecured medications. This is something that happens all the time. As it relates to teens, unused medication left in the home can become a temptation for teens, thinking about experimenting, for drugs, experimenting with drugs. So if you don't get rid of your medication when you decide you no longer use it and it's lying around your home and maybe your teenage child has a friend or your teenage child themselves is just interested in experimenting, then it becomes really accessible to them. 30% of adolescents actually misuse prescription drugs taking, taken from their home medicine cabinets. And not promptly disposing of unused medications is a real problem for the elderly. On average, about uh, people over 65 take about 14 to 18 prescriptions in one year, and that's a lot of medication to manage, especially when that medication is needed uh, to be taken at different times during the day. So really, it's, it's not uncommon to have changing medical conditions also uh, for elderly folks, and that may require a change in medication even before the existing supply is exhausted. So too many pills can lead to medication mix-up, taking incorrect doses, or taking expired medication, all causing real serious issues. So the COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated existing risks as well. Families are spending more time confined to their homes. So it's really more important to make sure that you've gotten rid of all of your unused medication in your home.
This is a great quote from one of our community outreach partners, illustrating that there's a real need to clean your home of unused medication. And this particular uh, person had a friend approach them and ask for a Dispose RX packet because of the COVID-19. This person's children were gonna be home from school and he wanted to make sure that all of his unused medication had been promptly disposed of before they all got home. Again, this is emphasizing the need to make sure you've eliminated the risks by getting rid of any unused medication. And that quote, again, is a great illustration of why this year it is more important than ever. Most of us are spending our time at home sheltering in place since the beginning of the COVID-19 epidemic. And children of all ages are out of school and staying at home. And like I mentioned, you've got the younger kids that are more at risk for poisonings and you've got your teens who are at risk for drug experimentation and potential addiction. So on April 17, we encourage you to do an inventory of medication, including the quantities of your medication. And for those that you determine are either you don't need any more or they've been expired, please dispose of them properly and, pro and pro promptly. For all other medications, ensure that they are stored in a secure and safe place. On any given day, it is important to dispose of unused medications, but now more than ever, it is critical. So ultimately, this brings us to an understanding of why it's so critical to change our behavior and start to incorporate safe disposal into the conversation about safe medication management. Ultimately, you get your prescription from your physician, your provider, you go to pick up your prescription, and that pharmacist takes that opportunity to talk to you about the risks of keeping unused medication in your home if you don't finish the prescription he is dispensing. And he gives you a packet of Dispose RX. You take that home and you adhere to the medication instructions. You take that medication and maybe you don't finish it. You've got that Dispose RX packet to dispose of your medication conveniently, promptly, and properly and safely in your own home. So thank you for attending this web webinar and we would love to invite you to go onto our website. There is a link right there to uh, get our national Clean Out Your Medicine Cabinet Day toolkit that's got some wonderful resources, engage, uh, patient engagement materials, education materials uh, that you hopefully you will provide to be very useful.